Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jason here again. Uh, I'm just responding to a subscription. Uh, Miranda Holter has hit 400 subscribers uh, contest. And I'm just new to the channel, but I found it through some of the other channels that I follow in the VC. And I wanted to make a submission, although I'm not American, so I don't think I will qualify for the prizes, but that's okay. Although I really did have my eye on that uh, dirty dancing combo of uh, records. I think uh, we would probably like that here in the household. Um, as for the contest itself, I had to get in on this just because I've got a story to tell in terms of an amazing find. It kind of the weirdest grail find that known to man, although I actually had most of the albums that I found at this one thrift store. So it was at a Salvation Army in Ottawa, where I'm from. And, um, you know, I often go to a Salvation Army or Value Village here. You're looking through the records. Usually there's nothing really in the bins that, have, that is of any value at, at this point. They're always picked over, either by staff or whatever. Um, in fact, I think Value Village, I don't know if that's in the States or not, but they've actually started pricing things up higher. They don't just have a blanket price for vinyl. They'll actually like go in and price a Fleetwood Mac record or something for $10 or $12 because they know that it's worth that, even though it's all beat up and maybe not a great condition. So anyway, one day I'm looking through Salvation Army thinking, just killing time. I'm not going to really find anything in here. And I ended up finding like five or six unbelievable albums for $1.99 each. <laughs> so these are the records. And... I actually have had most of them on doubles. Now, there's one missing here that I already sold because I didn't really particularly like it that much. So I'm flipping through, and I'm finding... I don't know what I hit on first, but this was probably the craziest record ever to even be in a Salvation Army, let alone for $1.99. Slayer. Show No Mercy. <laughs> it actually had it like a $1.99 sticker. I already had a copy of this. Um, so I think I have like a, a proper bonsai or something copy. This is a polygram, uh, version as well. And that was in the bin. So then I'm flipping more. Got Van Halen. I see that one's even still got the, the $1.99 sticker. So it's Van Halen 1. Great album. Didn't have that on vinyl. It had a, there was a public enemy in there. There was a Beastie Boys album in there. I kid you not. License to Ill. Right? How much how much do people pay for the, the reissues of that, right? 40 bucks for brand new reissue. Um, this was an OG copy, CBS, Canadian copies, I think. Uh $1.99. Then there was also this, some industrial, Revolting Cox, live album, double album. I've thought about selling this a couple times, actually, but I'm still Hanging on to it. It's Wax Tracks. Um, I'm into industrial stuff, as you guys may know. So that was in there. And then the last record that I picked up was Led Zepp. Uh, I think like it was like a later Led Zeppelin. That just doesn't look like a Led Zeppelin album at all. It's kind of a weird white cover with a picture, a photograph of a family on the front. So people can post down below what that one is called. Presence, I feel like it's called. Something like that. Anyway, it's 80s like Led Zepp, which I didn't think they made it that far into the 80s. Um, I didn't really recognize any songs on it, so I ended up selling it. They're all in very good condition, I have to say. Like, almost near mint condition, these records. So somebody must have just, I don't know what, they dumped like their kid's collection or something. I mean, anybody who knew what those records were, they would not have dropped those off at a Value Village or Salvation Army. Because just looking up on Discogs, you would know they're least going for like 20 20 bucks a pop. So that was my craziest find. And it qualifies all as one find because they were all that day, all in one spot. I went up to the counter sheepishly and just uh, plunked them down and she rang them in at $1.99 each. So that's my story. And that's my greatest find in a thrift store of all time. So congrats again, Miranda Holter, on your 400 subscribers. And I'm going to dig deeper now on more of your videos. Peace.